an orange grove in Mexico, two houses on the opposite ends of the orchard. Once there was a kind peasant named Fernando. Fernando and his wife Isabel grew oranges on their land. They took pride in their farming and the rest of their work. Isabel, look at these amazing oranges. All three came from the same branch. These beautiful oranges are fit for a king. They look fit daily to be the sweetest oranges in all the world. You're right, Isabel. I will take these oranges to the king. These oranges are more priceless than rubies or pearls. The king will most certainly enjoy them. I will make a basket to carry the oranges. There was another peasant who lived near Fernando, whose name was Esteban, and he also grew oranges. But he was as mean as Fernando was kind, and Esteban took no work in his, no took no pride in his work. Wife, have you heard that idiot neighbor of ours, Fernando, is taking his oranges to the king as if the king cares about a peasant? I have heard no oranges are as beautiful as Fernando's. People said that these oranges are absolutely perfect. Nobody in in this town has seen such beautiful orange, beautiful fruit as Fernando's oranges. Nonsense! Oranges are oranges. No matter how big or small they may be, Fernando will never get an audience with the king. Meanwhile, Fernando and Isabel prefer, prepared for the journey to the king's castle. I will combine some nuts and raisins for you, along, for you to eat along with the bread and the cheese and the basket. How long do you think you'll be going? Probably about three days, because the castle is located on the other side of the steep mountain, and they cross a huge flat area that is like a prairie. Front of Fernando's house. Then Fernando carefully placed the three oranges in the brand new basket. He walked outside and saw all the townspeople who all wanted to wish him well a good journey for except one person. Yay, Fernando! Have a safe journey and give our regards to the king! Thank you all. You would think Fernando had invented a new kind of fruit. What is so great about his stupid sour old oranges anyway? People said that Fernando loves his oranges so much that they grow differently for him. They are said to be the sweetest oranges in the whole world. Nonsense! An orange is nothing special. I mean, my oranges are sweet too. The oranges are sour enough to be make a pitcher of lemonade. Whenever I make, when I make a juice from them, I have to add a bag of sugar. Not one pack. Fernando's journey was difficult, and the trail was full of boulders and twisted trees. As he climbed the mountain, he stumbled over a root, and one of the oranges fell to the ground. This orange is ruined and no longer fit for the king. I guess I'll have to eat it myself. Fernando sat down and ate the orange, but even bruised, it was still the best orange he had ever eaten. As Fernando walked on through the wilderness, he tripped over a rock, and another orange fell out of the basket. Another orange ruined? Now I have just one orange to give to the king. This is just as delicious as the last one. I must give the last orange to the king. Outside the castle. Fernando arrived at the castle the next morning. Good day, guard. I have a present for the king. You must wait. Thank you. I will wait right here by the gate. Fernando waited all day until finally the guard led him into the castle. Inside the castle. Fernando bowed before the king. Your Highness, I would like to present you with this uh, orange. It was hanging from the same branch with two others. Sadly, I dropped those oranges on the way here, and they were no longer fit for a king. Let me see this orange. Why, it's beautiful. How did you know oranges are my favorite fruit? My goodness, this is the finest orange I have ever eaten. The king was so grateful to Fernando, he decided to hold an honorary dinner for him. I would like to make a speech in honor of Fernando. He walked over mountains and waited all day to give me the finest orange in the world. Now I have a gift for him, a bag of gold for him and his wife. Fernando, thank you so much for your kindness toward me. Thank you, your highness, I am honored. Orange Grove. Fernando returned home the next day and when the townspeople heard the, his story, they were all proud. Well, not everyone was <coughs> proud. I cannot believe the king gave him a bag of gold for one silly orange. I will give the king a whole bag of oranges. That should be worth plenty. Esteban grabbed a dozen oranges from his orchard. He threw them in the bag and stomped off to see the king. When he arrived at the castle, the same, the same guard that had stopped Fernando was there. Outside the castle. Open the door. I need to see the king. You will have to wait. 
I don't have time to wait. I just spent the whole the, the whole day walking here. Now op now op now open the door. You will have to wait. The king will want these oranges of mine. I demand to see him. The king heard the noise and came to the came to the window. A window. He saw Esteban yelling at the guard. The king remembered the kind and gentle Fernando. Peasant, take your sour oranges and leave this castle at once, or I will throw you in the prison and you and you will never see the light of day. When Esteban heard the king, he ran and did not stop running until he got back home. Orange Esteban. Grove. Esteban. What? Uh, Esteban, did, did you, what did the king say? Did you get a bag of gold? Wife, I have not returned with a bag of gold. I do not even have oranges, but I have learned something very important. What was that? A gift is not a gift unless it is given with all one's heart.